Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Vita Bellanoria across all my social media platforms. If you would please go ahead and thumbs up this video. Get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and of course go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification bell and as always go ahead and share it amongst your family and friends but who chow. The tip of the iceberg happened two weeks ago and this shit show started today. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. You already see from the title of the video and you already see from my thumbnail. Let's go ahead and chat about what's happening in the beauty community right now. If you're ready, let's start. You're my beauty, taking me home. For thing really do one. Okay guys, so if you are a part of the beauty community, you know, I'm not saying the outsiders looking in, but I'm saying if you are actually a part of the beauty community, meaning you buy makeup, you wear makeup, you gift makeup, whether you're a boy or a girl in makeup, if you look at makeup videos on YouTube, on Instagram, if you follow YouTube accounts for makeup or Instagram accounts for makeup, that part of the beauty community is what we're talking about right now. In the beauty community, you know, we've always had dramas, issues, problems from shade ranges to, bland, to brands not being inclusive to it always seems like the same influencers always get picked for brand trips and just we've always had this continuing cycle, you know, year after year after year after the beauty community grows and expands, we start to tackle some of those issues and break down some of those walls. However, this entire Tati Westbrook and James Charles situation highlights a much bigger issue in the beauty community. And it's not just about social climbers. It's about people getting a platform and that platform really, really expanding. And that person not being grounded enough to know that as your star rises, you still have to be that same grounded person. If you let all of that celebrity stardom money, whatever it may be, go to your head, then you're gonna wind up in the exact same situation that James Charles is finding himself in. Tati just did her video, and this is kind of my response to Tati's video, but it's also my breakdown and my own thoughts and opinions of Tati's video with the information she shared. Everything that Tati was talking about, 80% of it we already knew. You guys have been following and looking at James Charles for about two, two and a half years now, almost three years now, maybe a little bit more depending on at what point in your timeline he popped in on your timeline. But James Charles has always been surrounded with drama and issues from day one, from the whole ring light selfie in his photo to the whole Ellen show to the Ebola comments to his fallen outs with some of his other friends here in the beauty community that were gay and or transgender. And he's always openly expressed that he prefers as a gay man to go for straight men and either change them or turn them or go for a guy who's straight but may be questioning or trying to figure out his sexuality. We're gonna go ahead and go through everything that Tati said and my takeaway from it. I am looking down because I did take notes in reference to the situation. But, you know, Tati briefly went over his background. She brief briefly went over, you know, the fallen outs he had with friends in the beauty community, you know, prior to her really stepping into the situation. You know, the whole situation between him and Nikita Dragon a little while back. We all know about that. And, you know, she talked about after the whole Ebola situation when, e when James Charles treated tweeted out, you know, he doesn't know about going to Africa, something like that, he didn't want to catch Ebola, you know, the backlash from that type of comment being put out there on a public platform really made brands, individuals, and business owners not want to work with him, and no one was working with him. Tachi said it was her that stepped in and put her name on the line to get him back in the graces of having different brands, companies, and individuals work with him. And... To sum it up, that part of the story, I think we all can say we've been there, done that. There's been somebody that you've had in your life that you just earnestly wanted to see them grow and be successful, whether it was getting off drugs, getting into college, getting that job, getting that house, getting married, having children, whatever it may be. I think we all can say, if you're over the age of 18 for the most part, I think we all can say that 
you've always rooted for someone else in spite of or instead of yourself. I want to see you grow and be happy. I don't care if you become happier than me. I don't care if you become richer than me. I don't care if your house is bigger than mine. I don't care if your husband or wife looks better than my husband or wife. I don't care if your kids look better than my kids. You know, you genuinely, out of love and respect for that person, you want to see them go as far as the stars can possibly take them. I want you to get it all, aim for it all. I want you to get everything. I just truly want to see you win. And that is how Tati came across in this video. She came across at a different layer than most YouTube friendships that we see. Tati came across as more of a motherly type of go get it friend, you can do it friend, we're here for you friend, no matter what everybody else says and done, does, I still want you to push forward and keep going. Even when you do certain things that I'm just like, whoa, stop it, I need to talk to you. I'm still gonna support you, I'm still gonna push you forward. I'm not gonna go behind your back and kick cat and talk crap behind your back and slowly start to twist that knife in your back, but yet still be one-on-one -on -one with you in your face. Tati didn't come across that way at all in her video and I definitely respect that. I am one of the people who last year she started to have a transitional change with her channel, you know, the whole Jeffree Star situation and some of the things she did and said after that point. She herself was pretty much saying some of the same stuff that Gabriel, Gabriel Zamora said, you know, that whole not trying to tell somebody else how to feel about a situation or trying to tell someone else how and when to get over a situation. Now, in her video today, that is the one contradicting kind of statement she made that really stood out to me. Because the whole situation and the backlash of her supporters with the whole Jeffree Star situation, she basically kind of said the same thing that Gabriel Zamora, Zamora said when he was watching her cry on social media and he was telling her to get over their bigger issues in the world. People deserve to move forward. Second chances, just throwing it all together. It was like, I had to give a side eye about that one. But moving on from that part of her actual statement, the next thing, you know, that she went ahead and talked about is the fact that James Charles has repeatedly, repeatedly shown an utter lack of respect, anything for the elders in the beauty community. And when I say elders, I'm not talking necessarily in age. I'm talking about the people who came before you, the people who paved the way, the people who allowed you to even be able to do what you do today, to say what you say today, to wear what you wear today. That whole situation when he went back and forth on Twitter with Marlena Steele, the owner of Makeup Geek Cosmetics, completely rubbed me the wrong way. I have looked at James from a distance because you cannot be in a beauty space and not know just some of the buffoonery that happens. There's no other way to put that. And then he went back and forth with another very well-to-do makeup artist who's been doing makeup for like 30 or 40 years on Twitter. Although he kind of poked the bear a little bit and James Charles responded, it, it, it became a pattern and a habit that if it wasn't his way or what he wanted to do, then he was going to use his celebrity status and his fan base to completely crush and destroy you. The utter disrespect that he showed to a female, speaking in reference to Marlena Steele, and how he handled that whole situation. And then when she got her little Netflix, when she, not little, when she got her Netflix deal, how James Charles was saying he was already working on a documentary to expose the beauty community. And that leads me to my next point. Tati talked about that in her video as well. She specifically told him, don't do that. You are wanting to basically take a crap in the pond you swim in. You're basically wetting your own bed. Don't do that. That is, that would be the end of your career. That would be the death of your career. There are so many YouTubers who had miscues along the way who were huge and successful but one or two miscues along the way and they're flatlined. You don't hear them anymore, you don't see them anymore. If you go to their channel today, their last video they posted may have been one, three, or four years ago, and they used to be one of the big YouTubers, always on a trending page. Their career is dead, they can't go anywhere with that. And she was trying to warn him 
don't go that route. Why would you expose the same companies you work with who pay you? Why would you expose your coworkers who you're on the same platform, you're on the same brand trips, you're trying to get the same contracts, same deals. You're still trying to work here, but yet you want to expose here? It it doesn't it doesn't quite work like that. Not the way that he was trying to go about it. And the whole situation rubbed a lot of people wrong. Again, Tati went over 100% what's been going on in the past two and a half years with him. But 80% of the stuff she talked about, we already knew. 20% of the stuff she definitely gave us clarity and reference to. Like, I didn't know that after last year, after Morphe dropped men in MUA and Laura Leach because of the drama and everything that was going on with them, that they were struggling. And that was also coming on the heels of the disaster that happened with Jaclyn Hill's vault release last year. So they were kind of going through, they were going through it. And so James Charles may not have been getting the best deal. He either wasn't, may not have been savvy enough or experienced enough or he may have just been in a situation where he may have been getting taken care of getting taken advantage of and Tati was able to step in and explain some stuff Tati said her husband James has worked with him back and forth on numerous things she said in her own words that Tati's relationship with James Charles was an open door policy. Her home was an open door. If anything ever happened, if anything was ever going on, he 100% was able to go to Tati at any point in time, talk to her, talk to her husband. And that kind of goes forward into Tati's birthday party, where she, you know, she, she was saying that certain things happened at her birthday party that she wasn't okay with. She was disgusted by Yet, once again, James Charles liked to go for straight men. And there's nothing wrong with being a gay man or a gay woman and having your preference. But it becomes sick for anyone to think that I'm a straight woman. I see this beautiful gay man and I'm like, I'm going to turn him and change him to be with me and to like me. Do you see how stupid that sounds? Do you see how stupid that sounds? And let's... Let's rewind this back a little bit. James Charles fans base, he has over 14 million subscribers here on YouTube and a ton more on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Let's, let's, let's think about this for a second. Most of his fan base is anywhere between nine to 16 years old. They're very impressionable. So these are your children or your nieces, your nephews or your grandchildren that are thinking it's okay to be overly sexy overly raunchy, disrespectful of elders, flat out rude, lie and go through life doing whatever you want, whenever you want, because I am dot, 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 whatever your name is. Because I have X, Y, Z in my bank account. So I could do this and I could do that. We already have such a huge problem in the world with people feeling entitled to stuff. With people feeling like, hey, I deserve this. You deserve it. Why? For who? And even if you do, are you not even paying attention to the young, impressionable children who are paying attention to you? Is that really the role model you want to set? And he has a tendency to spew out craziness on his Twitter account. And his fan base, although they are young, they can be very vicious. They will go attack and just do the craziest stuff when he unleashes them. And to me, that's just, that's unchecked power. And I am happy that Tati found it within herself and spoke, I'm pretty sure she spoke to her husband and her team. Uh, even though she has a small team, I'm happy that she made the decision to stand up and say something today. At the end of the video, she said something that stopped me dead in my tracks. Tati is a woman who was 30 plus. James Charles is 19, 20 ish around that point. She said as a 30 plus year old woman, she was scared of this shot. And I didn't take it to think that she meant she was scared as in physical violence scared. I think she thought, well, my interpretation of her saying she was scared was he is obviously the bigger star. Her, she has what a little over five million. He has fourteen million here on YouTube, and his fan 
they his fan base really rallies around and it's also it's almost like a cult mentality but it's also a very weird and twisted way that his fans come and push and just do craziness when she said she was scared of him i think it has more or less to do with the fact that she is literally putting her career on the line to be able to stand up and tell her truth in reference to the situation. T Spill would be doing a video. Here for the T to start doing a video. Rich Lux would definitely do a video. Uh, Dustin Daly would definitely do a video. Um, all of these other, the viewers' choice, all of these drama channels, Peter Mon, I'm pretty sure he's gonna do a video. All of these drama channels are definitely about to put out videos in reference to this. And they'll break it down a little bit more and go a little bit more into details. But for me, being an African-American woman here in the beauty space, really trying to just bring you guys great content and do different things with my content for you guys. Her video today struck me in kind of a weird way. Because when you first get a job, when you first go to college, when you first go to school, when you first get in a relationship, you want to be able to depend on the veterans there. You want to be able to have at least somebody that you can turn to, look to, ask questions. Hey, can you help me with my lights? Hey, what's the best camera for me to get? Hey, what's the best editing software for me to get? Or, hey, how do you type this report? How do you reprint this report? What's the best way to set up my college schedule? What's the best way to apply for student aid? You get what I'm going with this? But the whole situation that's been happening here lately in the beauty community within the last year and a half with social climbers, people being exposed, old tweets being bought up, completely destroying each other just maliciously and reaching out to drama channels to feed them things that are true but they shouldn't probably know about you know just that whole back and forth and then of course the situation that just happened with Tati and James Charles it makes it very hard for people to let their guard down it's 2019 we already live in a world where you already know you need to be guarded it's okay to be a friendly outgoing open person but at the end of the day if you work the job or been in a relationship or had family issues then you know people will smile in your face the whole time they're walking up your back, standing on your shoulders, step, stepping on your head to get to where they need to go. Or they will smile in your face the whole time they're the ones digging that knife into your back. You know, so a lot of people say no new friends. And it's not no new friends, but you don't want to live your life like that because you'll need new relationships in life to expand where you're trying to get to in life. Whether you're trying to get to your master's degree, whether you're trying to get to a marriage, whether you're trying to have children, or you're trying to get to a different place in your career, you're always gonna need relationships and new relationships to help build and cultivate you. And along the way, you're still gonna make, as long as you're living and as long as you're human, you're gonna make a ton of miscues along the way. There, is, there isn't any getting around that. But hopefully, you know, we grow and learn and just start to see red flags from a distance. She said that there were several times and several issues that things that he did, like the conversation she had when she, when she invited his parents over to her house and he was talking about all men have a little gay in it. And James Charles' father was like, no, that's not true. And Tati said she witnessed them going back and forth in reference to James Charles saying, yeah, all men have a little gay in them. <laughs> no that is highly disrespectful and highly offensive and in my mind i can't even begin to understand how this is even appropriate how has this even happened it's because he's the money maker he's the star and he's surrounded himself with people who say yes 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 and to see the way his parents kind of peel back a little bit and kneel down to him just a little bit, even though they should kind of just yank him up one good time and be like, yo, get your life together. Get this, this, this crap isn't cool, but it's like, it's like an eggshell type of situation. Like, do you stand up to somebody and be like, no, that's not okay. That's not right. You're wrong. Knowing that you could be cut off and put out in the cold. 
Or do you kind of just be like, well, I'm being taken care of and this is security. And technically speaking, it's not like you killed anybody, but you're hurting people because you have a ton, millions of young, impressionable children all over the world that are watching you, that think it's okay for everything to be super sexual. For you to be disrespectful and to treat people the way that you treat people and to talk to people the way you talk to people. This is coming on the heels of that whole gauge situation, the whole Coachella scandal. And then you have the whole stupid situation with the Met Gala, which to me is just utterly stupid. The designers pick the outfits. It may be an outfit or two that you may be able to choose this or that, but for the most part, the designers pick the outfits. They'll bring you into a showroom or they'll come to you for a fitting, but please believe everything that's there is designed to be part of the vision they were already working on. It's not like you can go to them. It's not like you can go to Balmain and be like, show them, hey, this is what I drew up and this is what I want to wear. That's not how the Met Gala works. You know what I'm saying? So getting back to Tati's video and what she was saying in reference to it, was that the fact that when he hit on the waiter at her birthday party, how embarrassed and just completely, utterly void she was with that complete situation. How she had to reach out to her family and friends the next day and apologize and make excuses. She said it wasn't the first time, it wasn't the second time. She said time and time again, she's had to make excuses for his behavior apologize for his behavior and that is I'm not necessarily talking to the people who are over the age of 18 21 because at this point you know it you get it but if anybody's watching this video and you're younger a toxic person or a toxic situation is anything to where you have to second guess yourself when you know you're right when you have to constantly apologize to someone else's behavior attitude or the things they do or you have to make excuses for it. That is such toxic behavior. There is no reason why you should feel ashamed and belittled and just, oh my God, at someone else's behavior. That's their cross to bear. That is toxic behavior. And I'm so happy that Tati made the decision to release this toxic behavior from her life. She's trying to have a baby. She's trying to grow her family. This type of toxic, the, the, the toxic, the toxicity that has been in her life here lately can affect her in so many different ways. You know, although we may not see it, you don't know how many times she may sit in private and cry or how different things can affect her, how she can see one thing or hear one thing and she breaks down on the inside. At the end of the day, she is a woman and I'm always going to want to build up and support another woman. I don't care if that woman is white, black, Italian, Latin, I don't care. At the end of the day, she is a woman who was clearly hurting. So for anyone to diminish her feelings the way Gabrielle Samora did and say she needs to get over it, there are other things going on, you don't get the right to tell me when to get over something. You don't get the right to tell me how something affects me. You don't get the right to tell me my feelings are invalid because there are other things going on in the world. That is such toxic behavior. And all I want to say is I'm just so happy that she did it. I'm so happy that she spoke her truth. I'm so happy that she brought us in to see everything that we may not have seen because again we already had 80 percent and we already had bits and pieces from here to there but she just completely laid out her timeline of her experience of her situation and in 2019 on social media that takes guts that takes that takes a lot of self-reserve to be like i'm going to be completely transparent and i'm going to put it all on the line and wherever these chips fall, these chips are going to fall. But I'm going to speak my truth. And I'm trying not to keep saying my truth because of the whole my truth video that happened last year. And the series of my truth. Everybody had a truth. Everybody had a truth. But today, Tati's video, the sister by by sister thing that she just did, should have been titled 
my truth, Sister Bob, because it is astonishing to see what she truly went through, what she truly experienced from when she was in her own home and the conversation he had amongst her family and friends in her home at a dinner party that she was just completely embarrassed about the next day when she heard out about it. The fact that she flew him out to her wedding and he did her makeup and she cared, she truly cared for him. You don't spend time, energy, nor money on anybody or anything that you don't care about. It's just period. Not 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 like that. So I want to close my video by saying that I just really wish that we can all take account for who and what we are. If it's something you don't like, work on changing that. Work on being a better person. You know, I'm not telling you or me to make a 360 change tomorrow, but I want to be a little bit better version of Lenoria tomorrow than I am today. I want to be able to look at people and when they be like, would you like extra cheese with your meal or whatever? No, thank you. Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm a Southern girl. So my manners are always there. So when people, when I see people on TV, social media, Instagram or whatever it may be, and they don't say yes, sir. No, no, thank you. Yes, please. Or they be like, give me that. Boo. Who raised you? Who raised you? I, I just really think that with the conversation that you guys are starting in the comment section below that we can try to figure out a way within ourselves to be the change that we want to see. And it's going to harken back to Michael Jackson, you know, about when you're looking for that person in the mirror, you know, I'm not going to say man or woman, but when you're looking for that person in the mirror, it's got to be you. You've got to be a reflection of what you want to see, of what you want to give and receive. I'm not saying you won't get messed over from time to time, but I am saying that the more positive energy and smiles you put out there, hugs you put out there, the more is coming back to you. So just get a conversation started with me. Let me guys know what was your reaction to the talk to this video. Uh, watching this whole James Charles situation, what were your thoughts? You know, how are your feelings? Do you feel still feel like no nah, Tati's on some bull? I don't have time for that. Or I'm team I'm team James Charles. And here's why I'm team James Charles. Or she opened my mind to a different thought process. But that's it for my video, YouTube. Again, I am your girl, Beauty by Lenoria. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And until next time. Bye.